This is the latest task. It's a reasonable sized pond in Pontyland. Uh, the line is gone, it's knackered, it's just a cheap PVC unfortunately, so everything's going to be pulled out and replaced. There's actually a small cascade to build in here as well. There's a filter behind this bush somewhere and there's a pump to clean out and reinstate as well. It's getting there. Taking some of the edging stones off the side, cut a lot of the foliage back, including all this creeping Cotone Aster. And I've uncovered yet another horror show of electrics. There you go. So that's going to get sorted before anybody dies. It's coming apart quite nicely. I'm kind of halfway to, to pulling it apart, I would say. This is a strange one. We've got the live coming in here, wired into the neutral of the pump, and we've got the neutral coming in as the feed wired into the live of the pump. There's only the, the earth in the right place, so I'm going to have to check that at the other end before I wire this one back up, I think. PVC, no underlay. That's it, the line is out. It's been a bit of a feeble attempt at a what I think is like a bleed pipe to tackle groundwater. Really should have been in the very bottom. And ideally it should have had a pipe leading away from it. I well, definitely needed a pipe leading away from it. It's got none of that, so that can just come out. Sackless. Okay, that's both the liners out. There wasn't any underlay to lift out, so that was a bit of a bonus. I've shaped the shelf all the way around the side, leveled that out. Given this big shelf around in the shallow part here, all the way around there, a little bit more shape as well. Kind of leveled that out. So now it's just ready for the underlay. That's the underlay in. It's a polyester underlay. Basically, just use that little flame gun there, stick it together. You can see me doing that in some of the other videos. Um, most notably, how to build a fish pond and also how to build a wildlife pond. Parts 1 to 6 and 1 to 4. So that's it, underlay in, ready for the liner. I'm by myself today, so it's going to be a bit of a struggle getting the liner in, but hopefully it'll go in. Balls, it started raining. Well, as soon as I get the liner in, it stops raining. God bless England. That's the liner in. I'm going to fill it up till it gets to around about this shelf, just below that shelf. That should pull the liner in enough to be able to build the stones on the shelf. Right, this is the second day. I've uh, been joined by somebody else helping, which is very good because these stones are mighty heavy. Uh, the pond was filled up last night and we've started putting the stones around the sides. The more or less level. We're cementing them in and then backfilling with soil. 
obviously the pond isn't up as high as it sh it'll go it should come up pretty much to the top of those stones but we don't want the water affecting the cement so we're almost all the way around now there's actually going to be a small cascade here which will be pretty much just a tunnel pouring out over a spill stone back into the pond that's it we're finished today we actually missed yesterday due to the terrible weather we've been having in England um, we've made the electrics safe here by using an outdoor box to make the junctions out of the ground we've actually wired it in the right way as well so that's corrected a bit of a mistake we've used the existing pump and filter that's the filter there it's a pressurized one uh, it's a filter clear 11,000 from Oasi we've built a little bit of a tunnel feature here so the water looks like it's coming out of the bank side that seems to work pretty well cemented all the stones in around the edges we used some of the existing iris here to make like a bit of a planted bed hopefully that they'll come away well hidden all the liner cut the underlayer back and it's come together quite well obviously it hasn't had a chance to clear yet a lot of the soil that we used around the edges was quite clay and with it raining so hard it's mucked the pond up but that'll soon clear so the pump sits just about over here pretty much at the opposite end to where the cascade pours in pump sits there pumps up water comes through somewhere up between these stones here feeds into the filter filter cleans the water comes back down the cascade this pipe on the back here leads away up to the hedge pretty much in the middle of that border there and when it comes time to clean the filter out all to do is turn that cascade stops open the valve there and the water should start coming out up here it's pretty hard to see but it comes out right at the back of that hedge there and then all you do to clean the pump uh, sorry clean the filter is just pump the handle that squashes the foams out washes them in pond water so you don't get any loss of bacteria you don't get your hands wet or mucky and when it's you know had a good minute or two to run through close that off turn the dial back and the water starts coming down there again no need to switch the pump or the filter off to clean it well that's it jobs finished um, if you've liked what you've seen click the thumbs up button and if you're not already a subscriber subscribe for more thanks for watching